Good morning. In sports news, the Panthers won another big game last night. Come on, stop it. One can almost hear the sound of voices and footfalls and the students in the corridors. But the students are gone now and the walls do not speak. But the teachers do. And theirs is a story of training and caring for and loving each student who passed through Perry Consolidated School. I was here on that first day in 1925, a young teacher in my early 20s. There were 461 students in the entire 11 grades. Our principal, Jimmy Gooden, was instrumental in consolidating the county schools. And I'll tell you, from that day on, we had high hopes for high academic excellence in our school from that first day. All rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. In 1938, I came to Perry to teach in the high school. The schools in the county were sparsely furnished. There was very little video equipment, and of course, no computers as they had not been invented. We did have daily devotionals and prayer, and the student, entire student body walked to the morning revival services at the three Perry churches. During the early 40s as a student and later as a teacher, I saw tremendous changes take place in Houston County Schools, primarily due to World War II. Perry High School added a 12th grade. It also lost its first six grades to a new elementary school across the street. During this period of time, it also won two state basketball championships. The school also hosted many public celebrations, such as in 1945, when Perry native General Courtney Hodges, commander of the First Army in Europe, returned after World War II to his boyhood home as an international hero. Because the population boom continued into the 50s, the school system was faced with a tremendous challenge because many of the schools, the new schools, were outgrown before they were ever completed. Of course, when I came here in the 50s, the Georgia schools were still segregated. And so while Perry High School was setting uh, basketball records for the state, Houston High School for African Americans was winning uh, basketball and football championships for state titles. Boutier Staples, or as many knew him as Fessor Staples, coached basketball here for 34 years. He was nationally recognized as America's winningest coach, winning 924 games and losing 198 games. Coach Staples believed in discipline on the court and off the court. Whether you're in the school or out in the community, he believed in that kind of self-discipline. Coach Staples was truly inspirational. He was just one of the many outstanding teachers who taught here. Is it any wonder we wore these jackets so proudly? The appreciation of this school goes beyond its extracurricular accomplishments. It was the quality of education envisioned by the Houston County system that made this school and every school in the county special. Through the decades, generation after generation of bright young minds have been nourished here and encouraged to excel. Class, open your books to page 107. We realize that education does not stop when you don the cap and gown, but is a continuous process. Education encompasses uh, relationships and memories of place and time, which embody the spirit of community which helped to make us the people that we are. We appreciate everyone who joined us in the effort to raise money for historical preservation, brick by brick to form this walk, which is the entryway for our grand old building. 
No one student more completely exemplifies all that we tried to teach here at Perry High School than Sam Nunn. His presence in the state legislature and the U.S. Senate made Georgia and the nation stronger. Through him, we teachers believe we have also made a lasting contribution to the strengthening of this republic. We had excellent teachers. They didn't get paid a lot. We didn't have modern facilities. But when the teachers walked into the classrooms, they were not only teaching the subject matter. They were every day uh, instilling a sense of values, a sense of integrity, and a sense of self-esteem in all of us. And I hope that when they watched me occasionally on television, uh, when I did okay, they would say, uh, I taught him and I have an influence on him. And that's my contribution to the country because they did. They had a profound influence on me. And what I do now and what I've done in my entire career was uh, built right down the foundation that was uh, made by them in, in Perry and Perry High School in this building.